chapter 8.4. Uh, we continue our previous example 8.3. Now we adding uh, material consumption during the production. That's one of the new feature for the uh, workstation instead of a regular server. It can put uh, calculate uh, so-called material consumption. Assuming uh, each one of the needing process, we need a uh, uh, material uh, subassembly A, subassembly B, plus a couple connector, and so we're building a so-called bill of material than this. Uh, initial inventory we have on the subassembly A is 100, and subassembly B is 100, and connector will have 200 of those. So we need one. For each one of the operation, we need one subassembly A, one subassembly B, two of the connector. We're going to demonstrate how we're going to, uh, we're going to uh, do this, and it is follow uh, <coughs> this slide 16 on chapter 8. So let's go over and start with the model. And the first we need to do is we need to create materials. Uh, we're going to definition elements and <clears throat> we're going to add material section. So first we call that subassembly A, then subassembly B. And notice that initially this object type is still uh, material and Okay, and then we're going to add another material called connector. Okay, so these are <coughs> the three the basic material. The next, what we're going to do, we're going to build a material, a build material together. And so I'm going to adding another material. We call that of material okay <clears throat> and what we call the kits All right. and so here we're going to add subassembly a one of those and subassembly I'm sorry subassembly B one of those and connector. I need two of those. Okay, so I have three rows on here. Actually, represent, you know, I have this much. And also, for notice that for each one of the material, you have initial inventory and so on and so forth. We're going to talk about that in a few seconds <clears throat> and how we determine that. Um, and next we need to do is we need to take care of the initial inventory. So we go to the property section. Uh, the property in <coughs> property section, all the things you define in the property in CML is very similar to the state. However, you cannot change uh, the value during the simulation. So they are kind of a, a constant number throughout the simulation. So first we're going to uh, put in an integer type of property called inventory A, and that's a, <clears throat> a value. And then we have uh, add another, we need to add another one called inventory B, and then add another one called inventory C. Okay, so these are the inventory to begin with, <clears throat> um, and also, uh, sorry, we should use this. Okay, we're going to using as initial inventory A. Uh, these are represent the initial inventory B. this initial inventory C. So those represent the uh, starting number. The moment you define these numbers so far, uh, you can see that in the facility section, and you will see these 
sure enough. So I can set up the initial inventory for this becomes a model parameters and this property. <coughs> Meaning <coughs> you can reset this every time and rerun the model and give you what if you are using this set of invent initial inventory to begin with. Um, and I can change that also. And we'll talk about more in the future example, <coughs> but this is the uh, basic usage of the uh, uh, so-called property. So I define property here, represent the numerical value of initial inventory. So I'm going to put it here also. Uh, no, the C is 200. Uh, I can check a basic uh, in a default value for if I do this and you can see that if I go back to the <coughs> question and I can initialize those and the next things we want to do is go to the definition and the subassembly A um, we're going to call this uh, inventory A. Okay, so I'm referring that to uh, initial inventory A as a property. I'm right click on my mouse and trying to bring a set refer to property. Okay, same thing for that. <clears throat> right click on my mouse and bring a set re uh, ref uh, reference the property inventory C. So these becoming their initial inventory level to set. So here we have it. <clears throat> and next we're going to set a whole bunch of uh, uh, statistics and to determine how many of the uh, raw material uh, are. We're going to add a three, uh, four, and first one. I'm going to call this guy. Um, Sub A, consume. Okay, I'm going to contribute to this. Sub B, consume. Connector, consume. And here, material. All right. So each one of those, <clears throat> and then bring up here for the first one. I need to tie it into uh, so-called uh, sub A quantity concern. Okay, <clears throat> we're going to set these are so-called sub A quantity consume and for the first one and the second one we're going to do with uh, sub B quantity consume. Okay, and this one we're going to do uh, connector. This one is also we call DOM case quality. All right. 
right, so we're done with this, all these. And <clears throat> okay, we also, to be shortened the video, I also already put in so-called result classification uh, for the data source is subassembly A category is total consumption and data item help me to organize in the result section later on. Same thing I did for the subassembly B connector and the kits. And also, uh, in order to represent the final assembly, I need to uh, create another material, and this guy is we're going to call kit. Okay, and this is actually the the final product. Actually, this product uh, produced. So, <clears throat> and we we're going to see how that's going to work. Now everything is set up. I just need to put it into the workstation section. Let me show you how to do this real quick. So here we have a so-called material and other constraint. I'm going to set this up. Material consumption. Uh, basically, I'm using a beer material. And what kind of beer material was using? The beer material kit. Each consumption is one and uh, material production actually uh, we're going to call this create material and I'm going to choose the kits which is my final product and produce quantity for that and I'm going to use the model entity uh, order quantity okay as my number put produce so that means I'm using the material one by one and produce this amount of uh, uh, quantity in this workstation and finally uh, all we have to do is setting this process to original whatever it is 100 100 uh, if it's different from the default value it give you bold because I originally define uh, the <clears throat> the property this is 150 if I change this to 100 and then come back and it should looks okay so this is our first uh, force section, how to use that. I'm going to run this real quick. Okay. And here using the label showing the setup time now I'm uploading this for you to verify this is the setup time is correctly set up and this is how the material is using I'm concluding this subsection okay the chapter uh, 8.4 uh, model is finished I want to take a look and how many got produced and so on and so forth and let's uh, run this model real quick and to the end we see that after uh, 16 hours of running and um, the total consumption for connector is 200 so everything is used up and um, <coughs> subassembly A uh, there's a, a, a little bit more than a thousand produced finally for the final product and an entirely uh, subassembly A and subassembly B are consumed you can say that and actually we created 312 uh, order only 100 of them are completed so this is pretty much uh, we use up all the material in this uh, system uh, in the inventory and see if I can change uh, a different set of uh, uh, initial so I'm going to double the initial inventory for example and see if we can rerun the 
simulation real quick and go back. And you see that now, actually, <clears throat> out of 400 initially for the connector, we're using 360. And out of the 200 initial inventory, we use up 180 for subassembly A, subassembly B, and we have total 180. Uh, product, uh, 179 product produced and therefore this is uh, uh, pretty much run through the whole, s whole simulation 16 hours of uh, production without use of all the invent inventory we have. Next what we do we are trying to see if we can animate uh, monitor the level of inventory for each one of the material at do this real quick. I'm going to do an animation, get a status label right here, and I'm going to call this subassembly A uh, quantity available. Okay, and I'm going to call this another one. I can do this. And this one is going to call subassembly B. And this one I'm going to do this connector. All right. And you can also decorate a little bit using a, a label here. We call sub A. Do the same thing. B connectors. Okay. And start running the simulation. Let you see these are how the current inventory status is and so on and so forth. And uh, this quickly conclude uh, the review of the result and Thank you.